Hey team, so the other night we had a climate change event, it was a lot of fun, and I said two things that are a little bit controversial, probably the least controversial things I've ever said in my life, but I'll address them, I'll address them both here. The first one was I'm finding climate change has been this get out of jail free card for some time for our infrastructure projects. And I'll splice some videos over this so you can kind of see what I'm talking about, but basically it's like every time something goes wrong, it was climate change. And I'm kind of sick of that. I feel that this isn't a get out of jail free card. There are modelers, there's the response, there's the infrastructure construction, the contractors, there's multiple government departments that are all saying there's nothing we could have done because it's climate change. Well, no, there's lots of things you should have done. So I'm a bit worried that we're moving down that path of removing the responsibility from these crews. But the other thing I didn't really think was very controversial was what caused these floods. Not one person in the room had actually heard what had caused these floods? How was warming, anthropogenic warming, related to this flooding event? So basically, Antarctica has been cooling for some time. The, the bulk mass of Antarctica, East Antarctica. West Antarctica is warming, East Antarctica is cooling. East Antarctica is the majority of the mass in the ice. Now it's also accumulating ice at about 100 gigatons a year. And when you have a large land mass that's accumulating a huge amount of ice, what you see is that ice gets pushed to the shore and breaks off like a glacial collapse. And that's exactly what we're seeing. That's a cooling trend. In a warming trend, you would see massive waterfalls, a thousand times the size of Niagara Falls running day and night. That's not what we see. The cooling trend is also related to very large amounts of cool air that moves off Antarctica and floats across Australia. The cool air off Antarctica then moves across Australia and Australia was very cold. It was one of the coldest summers on record in fact, there were multiple cool records set and Australia last summer was the coolest summer in nine years. This summer was much cooler than that. And not only that, it was only 0.2 of a degree warmer on the raw data than the early 70s, which were very cold. That air that doesn't warm up moves out over the ocean. The ocean's warm because we're in a La Nina that's standard for a La Nina and you end up getting more rain. This isn't really controversial at all. If you want to read about it, just go to Weather Zone. They got a really easy to read article called Was the, uh, Were the Lismore Floods Caused by Climate Change? Of course, there's much more to this than this little soundbite. This is nowhere near as controversial as what needs to be talked about, but it's a pretty good start. And as always, as I say about everything, if anyone wants to talk about it, just ask. Just meet me and we'll sit down for a coffee, we'll film it, and we'll let everyone know what my opinion is and what other people's opinion are. All right, thanks team.